Good day mga kajubals. So for today's video, we'll have a go through of this 2023 Expander Cross 1.5G 4x2 automatic transmission. Basically, uh, this is the two-tone uh, variant. More or less, the top of the line of Expander. Okay, so before we will start, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and paki hit the notification bell para ma-update ka din sa mga bagong uploads natin so before natin kukunin yung specific details um, ikutan muna natin yung sasakyan as you can see uh, it's a combination of black and white na accent Alright, at the, the, the back portion of this vehicle, you can see there different um, accessories like yung uh, fender na connected din dito sa, sa likod. No? So, meron ditong uh, continuity of the design as regards to the uh, cladding or tinatawag natin na fender. Starting from the, the, the front grille, going down to the sides of the the wheels and up to the rear portion of uh, the vehicle all right so this is actually the uh, front fascia of expander cross 2023 all right so we have here the drl or the daytime running light the kyle edn and uh, of course the headlight all right so ito yung parang nabago ni cross or ni expander no 2023 merong fog light tapos naka chrome signature ng Mitsubishi I think this is universal na design no? all through the, the vehicle of Mitsubishi and then we have here the front grille naka piano finish and dito din sa bumper meron siyang uh, sporty look sa fascia sa bumper alright And uh, for the side mirror, naka chrome finish. Pero ano lang dito guys is hindi siya naka 360 yung camera. So mapapansin natin from the uh, rim size niya is uh, 17. Alright. Tapos meron ditong slim fender. So from the fog light connected dito sa gilid. And meron tong continuity. No? Up to the back portion alright dito connected yan dito yung design until doon sa likod which gives more uh, the, uh, beauty then sa design which is meron siyang continuity kumbaga then we have here uh, shark fin yung antenna and then merong spoiler my third brake light and of course since this is two tone black yung uh, color ng roof and meron, naka, na, meron ding roof rail okay and the the light dito is naka LED yan alright meron dito uh, connected on sa fender up to the back portion Alright, then um, we can also observe the, the design dito sa likod which is consistent doon sa front, uh, front grille. No? Meron ditong camera, backup camera, and then uh, Mitsubishi emblem. And the reflector, yan. this is actually consistent yung design dito sa likod, same din doon sa, sa front. Okay, may consistency yung design uh, both sa front at saka sa back portion so naka chrome yung handle and then of course keyless entry so dito naman naka piano finish and then uh, dito tayo sa cabin makikita natin dito naka leather yung uh, siding natin okay sidings natin pero uh, fully automatic yung driver side pero all power naman so lock and lock 
So, naka-leather, the expander, uh, this is expander cross. Napakaganda ng quality ng leather. Pero, of course, manual pa yung adjustment ng upuan. Both sa driver at saka sa passenger side. So, dito tayo sa steering wheel. I believe there's uh, no changes, no? Doon sa previous model and same with other models, no? Merong controls dito like hands-free control, cruise control, and this is actually the perspective no, of the dashboard inform information display about the vehicle so at this point pina pinandar natin yung sasakyan tapos napaka, ano, napaka silent ng engine no? nandito, nandito yung uh, controls ng console no? sa control sa air condition Uh, mode ng mode ng airflow no dito sa uh, sa loob ng cabin alright so we will try to turn on the uh, air condition uh, we have here the control of the thermostat okay so iba yung design nya okay yung dito napaka electronic na din yung design Okay, so of course yung steering wheel is similar doon sa other models ng HUBC. So 7 inch uh, screen display, naka push start button. Okay, keyless entry. Meron tayo ditong USB port and uh, socket. And of course lagayan ng gamit din. So nagustuhan ko din dito yung dashboard niya is merong combination ng leather and plastic. So doom light sa cabin. And uh, yung shifter ng automatic transmission and then yung parking is naka button na. Then we have here two cup holders then the center console is naka leather wrap. Okay. So the quality of the leather is uh, for me it's 5 out of 5. Okay. Maganda din yung quality ng leather. Then sa dashboard is merong accent dito na naka leather. Meron traction control and of course yung control ng side mirrors. All right. All right, so we have also here cup holder on the driver side and also uh, sa passenger side and also sa second row both sa uh, each door meron na din cup holder sa cabin. Alright, we, uh, we will now proceed sa second row. So, same pa din. Merong uh, cup holder dito. Tapos, naka-leather yung siding. Tapos, naka-chrome yung um, handle. Ayan, may cup holder. Tapos, yung maganda dito talaga lang sa Mitsubishi. No? I believe uh, Toyota also improved their um, design dito in terms of folding the the second row the third row uh, naka flatten na lahat no so in which mas marami kang gamit na pwedeng maipasok kasi flatten na so for the dashboard perspective nagustuhan ko din yung design no it's very uh, excellent for me and uh, medyo nag-improve na yung design and consistent din yung design no so merong packet dito sa likod both the driver and passenger and we also have the air vents apat na air vents dito and the AC control okay hindi pa siya naka naka dial type pa siya hindi pa siya naka push button yung uh, air con control so meron cup holder dito sa center console naka leather all right So, yung leather niya is a combination of this, the color of this is gray, dark gray, and then my white stitching. So, merong ano dito, ports, type C and USB port for charging your gadgets like cell phones and other gadgets. So, dito tayo sa likod. Alright, so, 
wala namang masyadong nabago dito constant na may cup holder and then meron ditong socket no? di ko lang ma-open <laughs> ok and then uh, yung basic tools nandito yung jack and other basic tools and we have the uh, compartments dito so meron kang mga belongings important documents or kahit anong pwede mong mailagay dyan alright so you can actually buy uh, an aftermarket yung matting dito no? you can buy it online or you can go to car accessory store para maprotektahan din yung uh, yung ano dito yung leather dito sa likod okay. so yun din yung maganda dito no sa Mitsubishi and I believe uh, based natin doon sa nai-review natin na Avanza and Veloz is yung design niya is naka platen na din so which is uh, more advantageous especially kung uh, ano uh, nasa biyahe ka tapos marami kang pwedeng may karga ng mga gamit no? kasi all purpose na yung uh, kumbaga no? yung gamit no? dito sa expander and same with other vehicles then so napaka importante na malaki yung compartment so by the way yung price po pala nito is 1,398,000 pesos so for the month of June all net down payment is 95,000 and you have the options no you can have 36 months for 42,515 you can have 48 months for 33,487 or you can go up to 60 months 28,713 okay so of course subject pa din yan for bank approval all right so this is actually from fast auto world philippines corporation tacloban branch and you can look for kate and pedrosa makikita yung number niya sa screen additional information po pala an additional of 15,000 to all white color models all right thank you guys for watching i hope nagustuhan niyo yung review natin uh, and see you sa next video natin. Bye for now and God bless.